Hi everyone, in this week's Torah portion, we talk about the story how many at the time were sinning with idolatry and adultery, even the prince of the tribe of Shimon with the Moabite princess. A man by the name of Pinchas sees this, sends a spear right through them both, understanding that this is gonna end the plague and avert God's wrath against his people. Now, after that, God gives Pinchas a covenant of peace. This is interesting because when we hear the story, we think of many things. We think of courage, we think of religious passion, we think of decisiveness, but peace isn't a word that would always come to mind when you hear a situation like this. So what was God trying to say when he gave the covenant of peace? To understand what a true zealot is, we have to understand the motives behind someone who does something for the greater good. Is it truly selfish peace or are we using our personal aggression and our personal agendas in a holy outlet? Now we see God is telling us that sh Pinchas is actually using his true selfless peace in order to save the people. Now, it's something, a question we have to ask ourselves. Are we, in a, when we're in our own personal crisis, why are we doing this? Are we actually using our own selfless peace to take care of the situation or is it our personal agenda that's getting in the way? And interestingly enough, even though we know Pinchas is true and did this through true selfless peace we actually see that in the torah anytime it mentions the word shalom which means peace when it talks about the story of pinchas we see that the vav is actually broken it's not a complete vav and it will only be completed in the days of mashiach when all bad is eradicated from the world so we truly have to ask ourselves why are we doing this and make sure that whatever we do in life it's for the actually utterly peace and not our personal agenda i want to wish everyone a great job